Okay, Mary. The next talk is Ice Cream for Gelato by Mary Lemmer. <laughs> Sound check real quick. Everyone can hear me? Back? Excellent. Yeah. So I hope this slide grabs your attention as I was told by the Ignite experts that it would. Uh, my name is Mary Lemmer. I'm a senior here at the University of Michigan and I'm so excited to be here with all of you guys today to tell you guys about something that I'm passionate about. So most of you can probably fill in the blank at the end of this common use phrase. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Well today there's going to be no screaming for ice cream. Because today any screaming that's done is going to be for gelato. Now gelato originated in Italy early on and since then has spread throughout Europe and other parts of the world. It's the plural form of the word gelati which means frozen in Italian and gelato itself means ice cream in Italian. Now even though gelato means ice cream in Italian, by all means, it is not ice cream. And today I'm going to tell you three key differentiating factors between gelato and ice cream, which make gelato more scream-worthy than ice cream. <laughs> One of these factors is that gelato is less fattening than ice cream. <laughs> ice cream legally needs to contain 10% minimum fat content, whereas gelato hovers between 5 and 7%. Gelato also commonly contains real ingredients like fruit and nuts, and by deductive reasoning we know that if gelato contains fruit and fruit is good for us, then gelato must be good for us too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Um, gelato also contains a lot less air than ice cream. Ice cream, more than half of it is air, whereas no additional air is whipped into, ice, or into gelato. This leaves room for high quality ingredients and eliminates the need for artificial sweeteners and flavors and other high fat ingredients that ice cream usually contains. And also since gelato has less air, it's more dense. So that means it packs a lot of flavor even into even just one little bite. From classic flavors like chocolate and spumani to exotic flavors like pina colada and cucumber and rose, there's a flavor for everyone. Now number one and number two here, that's gelato. Number three, that's a cone filled with sugar cubes, because really that's what ice cream is, a lot of sugar. Whereas when you have a bowl of raspberry gelato, it actually tastes like you're eating a bowl of fresh raspberries. The second difference between gelato and ice cream is that gelato prefers warmer serving temperatures and a slower processing speed. The way the ingredients are mixed make them taste a lot better than ice cream. So, most of the time, gelato dairy ingredients are non-homogenized when it's really made right. That makes it melt faster than traditional ice cream. However, gelato is actually served about 20 degrees warmer than ice cream, making it easier to scoop and a higher yielding product. Gelato is pretty easy to make. You can make it in your home, mix about four ingredients together, throw it into an ice cream machine, and voila, you've got gelato. But you're not going to get the high quality gelato that professionals make unless you would invest in a machine like this one here. Customized gelato machines will spin gelato at a slower rate so that air cannot get sucked into there like um, it is in ice cream. So you buy one of these and you'll have the, grit, the gelato the pros make. The third factor that differentiates gelato from ice cream is that gelato is not very easy to find. You can't walk into your local Meyer or Kroger and grab a pint of gelato like you can Ben and Jerry's or Breyers. So where do you think you can get your gelato fix? Rome, of course. As, as I mentioned, uh, gelato originated in Italy, so you can go to Italy and explore the magnificent flavors of gelato all around. In fact, gelaterias are as common in Italy as Starbucks are in the United States. Other countries like Singapore will serve gelato in high-end restaurants, and even closer to home you can get it in Vegas, in a beautiful display as you can see there with a colorful array of flavors. Local options for gelato uh, include Zingerman's right here in Ann Arbor. I know there's a few Zingerman's people in the crowd. Woo! All right, and my bias lens is my family's company, Oreo Ice, which has hundreds of flavors that were actually rated on Oprah's O list. Um, and we do catering, so check out our website. Uh, <laughs> so now that I uh, told you a little bit about gelato, uh, you know that it contains less fat than ice cream. It prefers warmer serving temperatures and slower processing speeds, and it's a little more difficult to find. So I leave you with this advice. Save ice cream for your dog. Dogs <laughs> like ice cream. They also drink from the toilet. Um, so remember that when you 
you're looking to uh, find your next frozen treat, because now when you scream, you should all be screaming for gelato!